My Mitzrayim had a lot to do with parenting. I had such an overwhelming, I have such an overwhelming love for my children. And I have my kids later in life. And as such, I had a vision of what our world would look like, what our lives would look like, and what their futures would look like. And then at some point in their late teens, they both made it very, very clear to me that their worldview and their desires did not dovetail with that of mine and my husband's. And under the guise, I would say, of concern, righteous indignation, feeling like I had some kind of moral superiority over them, I was older, I made choices, why don't you trust my path, so on. I created tremendous dissonance and in some ways took apart the closeness that had been there up till that point by trying to strong arm, to manipulate, to cry, to, you know, try everything under the sun to try and get them who, to be who I wanted them to be. And it was a kind of an Egypt for me. It was a prison. It was very narrow. I was very narrow. And the cost of that Egypt was the loss of relationships that meant more to me than almost anything. And so I made a decision that I would give birth to a different kind of self. That I would leave that Egypt and that I would love them the way they wanted to be loved, with my hands and my heart open. And, and I'm so grateful that I did. It was deeply liberating for not just them, but also for me.